And here we are at a third home to look at at Blandford. It's the same uh, basic floor plan. This one is lot 38 and it was priced at $8.93 and is now $7.60. Um, and uh, has some different things than the last uh, spec that we saw. This has a nice uh, different, different elevation, as you can see. It doesn't have the, I think it's called the modern bungalow elevation. See the, the way that the brick pillars are slightly um, expanded at the bottom. But they have pavers in the front, pavers on the driveway, a light colored paint color for the body, a dark colored, uh, it's like a cement tile. Looks like, a, it's not a Spanish style tile, it's more of a bungalow style tile. Anyway, um, this one has the four panel glass front door, just like the model. And that comes um, at no additional charge, according to this detail sheet I have here, which I'll send you. Um, this has all ceramic tile throughout, and the tile is wood look. And it's a kind of nice texture. It feels like um, it's a great tile, but it's not super shiny, so it has a really nice texture. One thing about this particular house that I'm in now, it's pretty far from being finished, probably at least a month and a half or so. So there are a lot of things that are not cleaned up, but you know, it's things that you'll see um, random, you know, paint cans, places and stuff like that. But also the power's not on. So it's a good thing it's still the middle of the day. It's not a very sunny day today, but we have enough bright light to get us a pretty decent quick tour of this spec home. So the front, area all tiled this uh, open room that we looked at in the model that was set up for a workspace it could be easily a um, formal dining room or workspace and then the front bedroom here is all tile this is the ensuite bedroom that has a full panel uh, in indoor doors so a little bit of an updated door design walk-in, shower, and um, vanity with white cabinets and sort of an antiqued black hardware. So this particular spec doesn't have plantation shutters, but it has a floor, and the floor upgrade was $19,000 according to the uh, builder sheet. So they did it in this room, we did it in the powder room here, which with the pedestal sink, and all through the kitchen, as well as look at this nice light color. This is called an eased edge quartz, so it's still got the quartz uh, design, the clean quartz look, but it has an eased edge instead of a sharp. So I thought that was an interesting comment. Uh, and this room, all tiled. So you can see there's still <laughs> some piles of dust and little wood pieces, places, but you know, you get the idea. This is the, um, the horizontal metal upgraded stair, which has a nice modern look. White cabinets, separate hood, separate wall mounted microwave and oven, and a built-in fridge space. Pantry right here. On the model, it had a glass door, but of course, we talked about how the pups wouldn't like to be tempted by the glass door. So, solid door for the pantry is nice. So, again, entryway, all the light coming in from the front door. Kind of a nice uh, look. And then this is an upgraded carpet. So, this upgraded carpet. It's listed as a $7,500 upgrade. As opposed to a shag type, this is more of a, you know, a mohawk sculpted rug. And I think you can see it was probably just installed because it still has some of the little nubbies. Probably needs to be, you know, cleaned, vacuumed, and stretched. But the baseboards are, are high. They're about six inch. And um, 
So the floor, the carpeting is this texture. So it's kind of a, an updated look. Master bedroom is right here. And this has interesting windows. The windows are, show you the back of the house. So you can see the yard is ready for anything, ready for whatever you wanna do. The model homes are right there. You can see what they did in their backyard. And then the floors in the master bath, again, have the plank, ceramic tile, the frameless solid glass, step-in shower, the soaking tub with the brushed nickel hardware, or, you know, faucet finish. The faucet finish here, similar to the tub. But um, it looks like these drawer poles are a little different. I don't know. Probably something easy to change. The uh, closet is carpeted with the upgraded carpet, and you can see natural light coming in, organizing shelves and bars here. Um, one of the things that we do here is give access to the equipment in the attic to any of our tradesmen or workers. So that's pretty common to have a master closet with an access door up to the attic. Um, so we're back in the loft area here. You can see the park that I just took pictures of and sent you. It's it's a pretty park. It looks as though the house next door will block most of the view, except for that pavilion there, you'll be able to probably still see. So there are the Santan Mountains in the background. And actually those are superstitions. These are the Santan over there by the, the tower radio tower. So from nice views today is kind of a dreary day, a nice day for photos, but not a great day to get a good view. But you know, this definitely has some nice views out the front. This is a front bedroom that has its own attached bath. And the attached bath is only for this bedroom. Whereas this, yeah, this, uh, oh, this, the laundry room is right in the center here, and it has the floor uh, tile, the ceramic tile. And then this is another um, bedroom that has a bathroom attached, but also leads to the hallway out there. And then there's another bedroom across the hallway. So this bathroom, this bedroom does have an attached bath, so it is technically an ensuite bathroom, uh, bedroom. However, and again, the lights, no electricity, so I can't really show you too much, but you can see the standard white cabinets with the black hardware, and there's a shower tub in there, and then we're back out to the hall, where you can see the loft, and then finally this other bedroom. So we have four bedrooms up, including the primary bedroom, and then that downstairs ensuite bedroom that can be used as a workspace uh, or guest room or playroom. And then there's that open area in the center that's a flex room. Here's the kitchen view. And then uh, a family room here, so. That is model uh, spec on lot 38.